you come here and you're learning off some of the, the best craftspeople in this country, Dennis and John, who have 50 years of experience and 50 years of techniques they can show you. I'm learning every, I'm learning every hour. Sometimes it feels like, and I, I get excited about when I when I come into work. The thing that amazes me about this place is the chasing, and it's definitely a real skill and it's a real art. People don't understand how that works until you actually see it. John knows everybody that's worked here over how long John's been here, 45, 50 years. He could tell you every different person's pattern just by looking at the pen. And he would say, oh, well, that's, that's Jeffrey's pattern from 1965. Uh, that's David's pattern from 1974. You know, you speak to, you speak to John, you speak to Dennis, and uh, you, you hear how many pens that they've made over the years, and they still have a real, real passion for them. You know, they strive for perfection, and that they really do. And um, yeah, that's, you know, that's what keeps you on your toes every day with both of them. <laughs> I think about the customer when I'm holding the pen. It's going to be held by someone else's hand, and it's also, you know, it goes through four, five, six pairs of hands here, and every single person, they feel exactly the same, and they will strive for perfection as the same as me. Yard of Lead started in 1936. These are still coming in now, 60 or 70 years old. You'd be surprised how sentimental people get about the thing, because they've been handled by their relatives and you'd be surprised. I like the idea that some our, our pens are handed down, they go down the generation. We were asked once how many bangs to do a chase pen. So somehow we had to count and we, we worked it out 3,000 separate taps on each pen. <laughs> we had an order for 500 once. <laughs> It's all done by eye. Everyone we do is different. We have three different chasers that all do a different pattern to suit them. I can look at my pattern from 25 years ago and I can say that's one of mine. It's the most artistic, it's the most satisfying really. They've got a the lovely feel to them. When you write, write with them, they're beautiful to write with. I think about the customers all the time. It's really important that the people who use our pens and pencils enjoyed and satisfied. I think that's the most, to me, that's the most important thing. I've been working here for 50 years. I started in 1965, straight from school. My father was manager. My father assumed that I would carry on where he left off. Sort of in the blood, if you want, yeah. There's very few pens in the world now that are actually done by hand, it's all machine done. When people come into the factory, they're amazed at the processes that we actually do. I take pride in products. It's a product that you need to have a love for, really. Everything k is being done by hand, not machined. You know, some of the tools that they've got here are like 50, 60 years old. The engine turning machine, it's like dated 1857 and that thing was made in Arbor in Birmingham and they're still using it now. It's 150 years worth of tooling and that gives you a bit of pride when you think, you know, it still works, so just there it is. <laughs> I don't know what we produce here. It goes to people that appreciate it. No two pens or pencils are the same that comes out of here because everyone is handmade. It's not just produced, so everyone is completely different. You start off with a piece of silver, and when you see the end product, you can't believe you know, what, what, you, what you've actually made. Like, oh, I do the polishing here. And you can see, oh, I'm lasting blowing. When I've polished it, I can see what, what's actually been come in and gone out in. It's amazing, really. It's only a small company. There's only a handful of us work here. We take pride in our work. And I like to think, when I've put that Made in England stamp on, we're proud of it here. Everybody takes pride in the work here. There's no cutting corners or... We take our time and we know full well it's quality when it goes out the door.